Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mirko Bobotsov and Mikhail Tal. This game was played in Varna, Bulgaria in 1958. Bobotsov was Bulgaria's first grandmaster. And of course, he was Bulgarian chess champion. Bobotsov had white pieces and he started with d4. Mikhail Tal played knight to f6. c4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7. e4, d6, king's Indian defense. f3, same-ish variation. Tal castle king's side. Now from g to e2. c5. e5 is another popular move in this position. Tal played c5. Bishop to e3, knight from b to d7, queen to d2, intending to castle queenside, to play h4, h5, exchange darks with bishop, and to crush Tal on the king's side. a6, Bobotsov castled queenside, queen to a5, king to b1, b5, white move. Knight to d5 was played, and this is already a critical position. How should the black continue? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? If queen takes on d2, the knight takes on e7 check, this is in between move. And after king to h8, rook takes queen, and white is winning. So perhaps black should play queen to d8. This seems like a safe choice, but Tal doesn't like to use a reverse gear. Tal played an unexpected move. Knight takes on d5, sacrificing the queen for two minor pieces, and there is no immediate checkmate threat. Queen takes queen. Mirko Bobotsov was very happy with his game. Knight takes on e3, attacking the rook, Rook to c1, knight takes pawn on c4, white move. The queen is under attack, perhaps queen should go to e1. But Bobotsov didn't like black knight to sit there on c4, so he sacrificed the exchange, practical move, to make calculations easier. Pawn takes rook, knight to c1, rook to b8. Note how the rook and the bishop on g7 are connecting on b2. Bishop takes on c4. Knight to b6. I guess bishop takes on d4 was expected. Knight to b6. Bishop to b3 protecting the king. Perhaps bishop takes on a6 should have been tried. But white was too shy about this move. Bishop takes on d4. So he played bishop to b3, protecting the king. Bishop takes on d4. Queen to d2. Bishop to g7, intending c4. Knight to e2. c4. Bishop to c2. Black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for black. What did you find? Mikhail Tal played c3, attacking the queen. Queen to d3. Of course, pawn takes. Pawn is out of question because of knight to c4, discover check, winning white queen. What else? If knight takes on c3, then knight to c4, and after queen to c1, bishop takes on c3, and black is winning. And how about queen takes on c3? Just kidding. Milko Bobozo played queen to d3. c takes on b2. Knight to d4. Bishop to d7, locating the square for the other rook. Rook to d1. Rook from f to c8. Bishop to b3. Knight to a4. 
Bishop takes on a4, bishop takes bishop, knight to b3, black to move. How would you continue now? What is the best move for black in this position? Mikhail Tal played rook to c3. Queen takes pawn on a6. Bishop takes on b3. Pawn takes bishop. Black to move. How would you continue in this position if you had black pieces? Mikhail Tal played rook on b to c8, intending rook to c1 check. Queen to a3. And now, pawn takes queen. Just kidding. Pawns don't go backwards. Rook to c1 check. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook check. And white resigned in view of this continuation. King to a2. And black can give checkmate in three different ways. Which ways? What do you think of this game? Imagine someone training you to play like Tal. Would you like to learn to play like Tal? How much would you pay for it? There is a DVD in which you can learn to play like Tal. Please click on the link below the video and download your DVDs right now.